for the most part, we're all working from home or we're working from home. We're going to sleep later. We're waking up later. We are eating maybe unhealthier. So like, I'm not at the state health wise or physically that I was maybe like a year ago or a year and a half ago before pandemic time. But I think that what I've learned about myself is as long as I show up, I'm better off than if I didn't show up. And you see that on the posts on the tonal community is I'm, you know, I can't wait for my tonal to come. I need, I want to lose 60 pounds and people have done it and they admire the heck out of that. Um, but you're typically a person is not going to lose a ton of weight just by exclusively changing one part of their life. They can work out really aggressively or they can be strapped themselves to the Peloton or do whatever. Um, but um, unless they change their eating habits and they change their activity level, you probably aren't going to get to that. It has to be a complete lifestyle um, readjustment. And buying a tonal and just working out will certainly make you stronger, healthier, and happier, but you're probably not going to lose 60 pounds. There are exceptions. Time to hit the gym. Better do it smart. Get your own coach. There where you are. Start the day right. There in your home with the smartest gym in the world. Ready, set, go. Smart handle, smart bar, smart training. There you are. Customizing it right. AI form advice. Super set will show you what it's all about. It's a total workout. Welcome to the Superset Podcast, episode 32. This is Crystal O'Keefe. And this is Tom O'Keefe. Hey. Hi. So, uh, big news in the world of Tonal. Big news. Coming right, coming right out hot this week. It is, yeah. Uh, so, you know, it hasn't started yet, but we are told that live classes are coming at you October 20th. I am so stoked <laughs> and then they're going to be like opening all, like later they're going to be opening a whole nother studio in new york mm. and they're going to be broadcasting the classes out of new york holy cow i know wow one more reason to go to new york first broadway now this i know <laughs> <laughs> Awesome. Well, that'll be great, especially as we get more information. I know, like, having never done Peloton, I've never done a live class. I don't, I don't, I'm not sure. I know people get weird about live classes and then they take them and they're glad they did. But yeah, um, but, uh, but yeah, it'll be interesting to see. Like, I don't, I don't know that I'll, I don't know that it'll fit with when I tend to work out. So I, um, you know. I think, I think that that's going to be, that's my concern right now for us. Um, because since we're in the central time zone, right. I tend to work out in the mornings. So I feel like no one is awake at 3 a.m. in <laughs> California. Right. I don't feel like they're going to be doing a live class then. Yeah. So I, I don't, I don't know that it'll fit with our schedule, but you sometimes do them in the afternoons, pretty late in the afternoon. So it might work for you. Okay. Well, yeah. we will, we will see. So yes. that's something we all have to look forward to. October so 20th. People can finally get a tonal shout out. Yes. That'll be so exciting. So uh, what else do you have in store for people this week? We are going to talk about all of the tonal news that has come out in the last couple of weeks. There's more guides in the official tonal community. Okay. Uh, there is new clothes in the gear shop, new gear in oh, the gear shop. Awesome. Uh, there are there are news, there are appearances from tonal employees in the media that we have to talk about. Okay. Uh, and then, of course, there is about a billion things of new content because tonal there always is. Yes. <laughs> and uh, and then we're going to just do all the little in case you missed it kind of things. Awesome. As well. well, before we get to all that shameless plugs, don't forget we're available on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Google Podcasts, uh, wherever you find a podcast, you can find us while you're there. Be sure and follow us so you never miss an episode. You can also check us out on Facebook at facebook.com slash superset podcast while you're there like the page join the group and of course you can check out our YouTube channel at youtube.com slash the clip out which is the name of our other show but everything lives under one umbrella on the YouTube so uh, there's all that let's uh, let's dig in shall we we shall <laughs> So Tonal uh, has all sorts of little guides to help you. And this week they put out uh, what to expect 
when you're expecting your tonal. I love that title. I do too. I do too. Yeah. Uh, and and yes, there are several guides out there, and and you can find all of these in the official tonal community. Um, and I love that the community team has been filling these out so diligently. And this one includes things like. Um, where the support forum is. So should you have an issue, you can, you'll know where to go. Um, filling out the pre-installation survey, what that's about, why you do it. And then it walks through tracking your order, tonal installation requirements, like everything you need to know, including before your installation day, during your installation everything and that's great because when you make a major purchase like this like you're excited but there's that that window between when you order it and when it shows up and yes. so here's something that can uh whet your appetite in the meantime and hopefully satiate you you can also <laughs> listen to us yeah Ta-da. find out all kinds of fun things about we tunnel. need to be in the what to expect guide oh kate why are we not there <laughs> totally kidding <laughs> she is i'm not i'm not kidding at all uh but pretty much anything that you want to know about the community instructors things like reverse birthday workouts there's guides for everything in the official tonal community so keep on the lookout for those and make sure that you direct people to them when they are new to the community it's very helpful absolutely you know, something else that you can do while you're waiting for your tonal is you can stock up on gear at the gear shop. You sure can. I am so excited about their new gear. Uh, there are, for the first time in tonal history, on the gear shop anyway, there's uh, tonal sports bras that you can buy, tonal leggings that you can buy. This is like right up my shopping alley. Of course, I had to go buy things. Of course you did. I did. But I can't even complain because you... you you could finally get me something. I did, and I got it in your new size. I yes. got you. I got you a hoodie. It's gonna be perfect for you. You're gonna love it. She got me a sports bra. <laughs> <laughs> That's the hoodie I got you right in, there in my new size. <laughs> yes, in your new size. My breasts are getting smaller. <laughs> <laughs> Everything's getting smaller, Tom, including your breasts. <laughs> Well, not everything. Oh, my. <laughs> you started it. Oh, my. <laughs> so uh, I am in love with it, that purple. And you know what? They uh, they partnered with Roan and um, I think you pronounce it Alaya, A-L-A-L-A. That's, I wouldn't know. I know you wouldn't, but okay. people out there would. And um, both of those are such good brands. Um, I have bought some of the clothes from however you say, Alaya, Alila. Sure. <laughs> I am totally butchering their poor name. <laughs> and um, and I've, I've never bought anything from Roan, but I hear from like men who have tons of times and they really, really like those products. So I can't wait to get them and check out the quality of them. Hopefully they'll arrive in my mailbox soon. Look who's talking about Tonal. And if you just can't get enough of Tonal in your podcasts, <laughs> uh, you can check out Hurdle. Yes, Joanna Bodie posted today out in the official tonal community that uh, episode 177 of Hurdle features Ali Aradi, who is the CEO and founder of Tonal. And if you can't get enough of Ali, he has been on our podcast as well. Absolutely. Both of our podcasts. Yes, both of our podcasts. <laughs> new tonal features. We have a couple new features uh, to talk about on your tonal device. Yeah. And um, whenever Kate posted about these in the official tonal community, she talked about them as they are in product education. So they're a little bit different than some of the features we talk about, mm -hmm. but um, both really important. One of them is smarter weight suggestions for high volume sets. So they, are, they were explained that tonal's weight suggestions are now more intelligent when it's a high volume set if it's targeting the same muscle group. So you might notice that your weights go down a little bit. And Kate said, but don't worry, this will not impact your strength score. Very important. That's Very Kate's important. way of saying, don't at me. Yes, yes, it is. <laughs> <laughs> and then we also have the movement replacement ability. So in a workout where movement replacements are not available, Tonal will let you know whether or not that workout type supports movement replacement. So you're going to know at the beginning of a workout if you can if you can change it out instead of guessing and not knowing until you come across a move you don't like. Oh, that's good to know. Yeah, exactly. Because we all know there's the one move. I know, Tom. That I have to avoid because mm -hmm, mm -hmm. it just makes me mad. <laughs> I love that they're always changing things. So cool. New tonal content. 
And then, as always, there is a ton of new content. So much new content. Okay. So I will let you pound through it. Okay. First, we have a new program, and this is Muscle Build Up with Coach Trace. And so it's advanced, full body. It's four times a week for two weeks. And Coach Trace takes you through heavy lifts and lifts and plyometric movements in eight days of programming that's gonna build muscle and elevate your heart rate. So it's a great combo for people uh, that are, are looking for a good new challenge. Uh, then as far as new workouts, so many. New high intensity, upper body fire with Coach Gabby. New yoga, yin yoga for hamstrings with Coach Nikki. Then we have post lift yoga flow. So this is all about recovery after you've been lifting really really important then we have new bar bar for abs and glutes with coach francis and this is all focusing on your glutes and abs but it's in a bar workout so that's amazing uh then mobility i love these workouts uh this one is beginner it's intro to modular mobility with coach venus so it's it's combining ground-based movements such as stretches, flows, and activations. And the goal is to mix and match the components you need to improve strength, power, flexibility, mobility, and coordination. So, so much you're getting out of one workout. Uh, and then new recovery, steady recovery with Coach Amy, new cardio, intense lower body hit with Coach Liz, new kickboxing, impact kickboxing with Coach Amy. This is perfect for beginners and it's 20 minutes. So if you've been looking, like you've been wanting to make a transition to kickboxing, but haven't found your, 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 Perfect go-to. This one is it. And Lloyd Dobler says it's the sport of the future. <laughs> he does. <laughs> and, you know, totally, totally relevant time-wise. Uh, <laughs> and then there's another new program, Beginner Breakthrough with Coach Jared. This one is a beginner program, obviously. Sure. And uh, it's full body three times a week for two weeks. So I really like how they're doing some of these programs for just two weeks, especially when they're focused on beginners or specific pieces of workouts because right. it's a perfect kind of like snack bite to to get into trying it out so this is um specific for users who are looking for a breakthrough to the next level of strength training uh, then there's more new yoga pre-lift full body flow so this is preparing your body for a lift chakra balance with coach nikki new pilates straight up core who can't work on their core who doesn't need to do that uh, there is a new warm-up leg warmer with coach allison so this is great leg day movement prep which is really good uh, more mobility wrist clinic with coach with Liz I highly recommend that you take check that out especially if you do things that are repetitive with your wrists that's you play brilliant. a lot of Xbox yeah I was I was thinking, single singing biking okay okay uh, <laughs> new cardio cardio <laughs> pump with coach Amy we're gonna move right along uh, new meditation empowering breath work with coach Jared so important to breathe properly whenever you are doing meditation so so much so much which one are you gonna try first Tom um the third one mm -hmm. okay <laughs> I figured there was so much how could I keep track of it all <laughs> Also, uh, while we're talking about uh, new content, yes. Tony Horton posted that he's recording some even newer stuff for the tonal. Yeah, he posted a behind the scenes on another tonal shoot. And uh, you like, can, where is this person taking the picture? From? I felt like it might be like a balcony yeah. or maybe, you know, um, whenever you're in stages, you know, um, sometimes they have like the catwalks the above. Rig they call those riggers. Sure. Well, maybe yeah. they were up there. That was my my two perhaps my did, two theories. I'm like, did he like toss his phone up there? <laughs> like, how did, I'm just fascinated by how they got the shot. But yes, if you like your Tony Horton, there's more on the way. Yes, the superset gives back. So Tonal is uh, looking for some community help to be even more diverse and inclusive than they already are. They're looking for folks to fill out a Google form to let them know who you are, how you identify, and what you would like to see discussed in series such as Tonal Talks, Black Excellence Series, 
heritage moments, and more. I think that's really cool that they want to hear from the community about what they want instead of just guessing and right. doing it. So, Absolutely. So very cool. If you're comfortable talking about those things, you can swing on by the official Tonal community on Facebook and get the link for that Google Doc. Yes, and you can fill it out without, like, they're anonymous. So right. j just because you fill it out doesn't mean you're required to, to talk about it. So just know that as well. Very cool. And then while we're in the realm of Tonal being inclusive and helping and giving back, they're looking to help some people train for the New York City Marathon. I think uh, this was this was this one hurt my heart a little when I saw it. Uh, <laughs> not you want to do it. I do want yeah. to do it. I want to do it so badly. Um, if I had known that they were going to offer this, I might have signed up for the New York City Marathon. So I'll tell you what it is <laughs> instead of just going on about it. Uh, Tonal is looking for five members who are going to run the New York City Marathon on November 7th and who are interested in having five weeks of personalized coaching. I mean, who wouldn't be? Like, that's just so amazing. So there's, there can only be five, but um, you get complete guidance. So all you have to do is tell them your level of running. So whether this is your first marathon, beginner, intermediate, advanced, one sentence about how you've been using Tonal with your training leading up to the race, and one sentence about why you were running the New York City Marathon. I probably wouldn't have gotten it anyway because my reason would have been to do this amazing training. It's probably <laughs> not a good answer. Yeah, that's but, probably not what they're hoping for. No, but it's a really, really cool idea, and I am so excited to see how that turns out. Tonal Talks. It will have already happened by the time this airs, but there was a Tonal Talk uh, featuring Angelique Brellenthin about strength training and obesity prevention. Yeah, what a great combination of yeah. topics. Um, and it's it's one that I am super curious about, so I will definitely be checking this out. But these Tonal Talks are always fascinating, and I love the breadth of topics. And um, I think... I think a lot of people could benefit from this because there are so many people that have questions about, well, how do I lose weight and do strength training? Because because so many times we're told cardio, cardio, cardio. So right. I, I'm just really excited about this topic. In case you missed it. The October challenge is almost upon us and this one is a little different. Yeah, uh, I, man, Kate knows how to raise the anticipation level. <laughs> I am so excited about live classes. And she posted who's ready for the October challenge because next month's challenge looks different because we're preparing for live workouts. And then she posted a blurry image of bingo challenge. Oh. So you don't know what the workouts are going to be. But what we do know is there's going to be community bingo and you get to play along for a chance to win cold, hard cash to the revamped tonal gear shop <laughs> i'm so excited <laughs> and towards the end of the month they're going to have a form that's going to submit your completed bingo board and 10 lucky winners will be randomly selected to win a hundred dollar gift certificate to the gear shop how exciting awesome yes yes <sighs> and i think it's going to be announced on the first i think is when they're going to announce it Friday is the first, right? Yes. Okay. That's when they're going to announce whatever is going to be all, all of the details for the October challenge. Awesome. And then while we're in the in case you missed it area, uh, community member Josh Pepper is putting together uh, an, an exhaustive list of all the potential badges that you can get. <laughs> yes, it's really cool. Uh, so he's a completist. And um, I think Tonal likes to surprise us with these. So they might be a little sad that this <laughs> list exists. But I thought it was really cool because I'm a completist as well. And this is a treasure map for them. So it tells you exactly what you need to do <laughs> to get them. Uh, so it, there's a whole bunch of different badges that he has collected and uh he has the list so if you haven't checked it out go and look on the official tonal community and uh look for josh pepper and his list very cool tonal book club and then finally uh this month's read between the rep selection is effortless by greg mccowan i hope i'm saying that properly i think it's greg McCune. Greg McCune, I hope I'm saying that properly. <laughs> yes, <laughs> and, uh, so that will start on October 1st. So when you say this month, it's October. Right, by the time this comes out, it will be October. It so, will, yeah. it will, We're right at the end of the week. So I'm, I am really curious about this one. I have never heard of this book, so um, I need to know more about this. It sounds like it was probably really easy to write. <laughs> like, I mean, it's, 
<laughs> Effortless. Effortless. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Greg's like, go to hell, Tom. <laughs> I don't think Greg's here. I'm pretty sure he's not listening. Yeah, yes. I think you're okay. And he won't now for sure when he hears all the awful things I apparently said about him. <laughs> Checking in with the Tonal Community. Joining us today via z- the magic of ZoomTube is Elias now I can't say it. Now you're on the spot. Siafakis. There Did you go. Right? You did it. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Okay. So uh, it's this has been a long time coming. We have yeah. had uh, a few scheduling uh, mishaps. Yeah. So I'm on so both glad. Ends of the equation. Yes, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. So so glad we are finally getting to do this. I, I I would love to know when you first found out about Tonal and decided I want to take this home and like and where was that in your journey? Yeah. Uh, so I actually, the, the story is sort of an interesting one. Me and my husband were uh, at a random pride event in 2018 that we did not know was there. We literally were just walking around and then found a huge pride event. We were like, oh, cool. <laughs> let's go do this. Surprise! <laughs> yeah. And we were there. And then another random moment took place where a person from the LGBT LGBT center in New York city stopped us and said, Hey, you both look like cyclists. Why don't you join us on this ride from Boston to New York, 275 miles away, three days of time to raise money for uh, the LGBT center. And we were laughing. We were like, we are like, lethargic we do nothing <laughs> we're on uh, the couch all the time how do we look like cyclists you know and so you had to feel like they're like hey man we're crushing it right yeah, right and like, then we're not I was doing like, any of the things cool. and, and we look like cyclists right on <laughs> yeah right and that. so we kept that flyer on uh the the fridge it's called the cycle for the cause and and we kept it on the fridge and for some reason we didn't throw it away and then comes like a month later and we're just kind of thinking about our fitness journey. And just generally speaking, like, what can we do to improve our, our overall health? And what can we do to um, just, you know, lose some weight in the process. And we thought about that 275 um, thing, the miles, and we were like, you know what, that would, it sounds crazy, but what if we just tried it and did it? And so for about a month, we did like hardcore training. We bought bikes. We went the whole, like we went in it <laughs> and we went on the ride and I did not finish the whole 275 miles. Chris did. Um, he beasted it. I mean, I cannot even <laughs> tell you how proud I am of him for doing that. But my goal then well, for the following year of 2019 was like, I want to do more, maybe not finish, but I want to do more than what I did. So what can I do to complement that? So when we got back from that, Chris was looking online and just sort of randomly came across the tonal. And this is sort of really early on in the tonal. Yeah. Like, yeah. Yeah. And we saw the the product. Chris is like, you know what? Um, we've gone to the gym, but we don't know what we're doing at the gym. We're literally- Amen. <laughs> yeah, That's right? my kind of people right there. Yeah. <laughs> Picking up weights, dropping them. It's like, is this doing it? Am I working out? <laughs> Do I chew on one end? Like, I don't know. And yeah. You have all these people in there who are like, know fully what they're doing. And, you know, they have three uh, equipment set up for themselves. And I'm like going to use it. And they're like, oh, that's mine. I'm that's like, mine. You're not using it. I'm like, what is going on here? This is a whole other culture. How are you it supposed is- to know? Yeah. Yeah. And, the and is there needs to be a book. Yes, totally. And what we did finally was we looked online and came up with a process of like, this is what we're going to do on these days. This is it seems to work for these people. Let's try it on our own. We did it and it kind of did work. I'll be honest. It was a fine setup, but it was definitely not something I was enjoying. It was like I'm okay. doing it because I'm just like supposed to be doing it. So then when we saw the tonal, we were like, you know what? This is sort of a really cool device because we can do all these things at home. We don't have to worry about all these other people. If we look, you know, dumb with a move that we don't know how to do, hopefully someone on the tonal will tell us how to do it. And uh, yeah, it was early on. And funny enough, I was actually the one who initially was like to Chris, I'm like, I don't, I don't know. Like, do you really think we're going to get use out of this? And we bought it and it was more like his thing for like a second until I tried it. And I'm like, oh my God, this is, this is it. This is it. <laughs> This is what we need. This is so cool. And me and Chris are very tech people. Like we both worked at Apple for almost 10 years each. And so we thrive on things that are connected and technological. And so the tonal was right there. And so from that point on, we've not gone back to the gym and uh, we've only exclusively used tonal for strength training. And then we also have Pelotons for uh, cardio. So that's that's the journey. 
Oh, wow. so so wait, did you ever go back and do the pedal the cause? Yeah, yeah, we did this the second year we did cycle for the cause 2019 and I was only 50 miles away from finishing and right. I ended up getting like a little bit of a knee situation going on and I just really didn't want to push it and I was nervous to keep going totally. but yeah. I did a whole lot more I felt so much better I didn't feel like I just want like someone take me and helicopter me away to like you know the hospital <laughs> I felt really good and it absolutely uh, unequivocally helped a ton because of the strength training I was doing on tonal that's incredible. Absolutely. That's Absolutely. really cool. I noticed, I, I noticed it when we went to Disney for myself yeah. personally, that I was just like a lot less. T- it's a lot of walking, right? There's oh, some yeah. Days we walk like 10 miles, like for yeah. real. Like she has a thing that counts it, right? And, yeah. Sure, sure. And, uh, but it was like, I'm like, oh, I like I would be I would we'd get back to the hotel. I'd be tired. I'd wake up the next day, though, and I wouldn't be like sore or completely sure. exhausted especially on the seventh day yeah know? so that's like, a trip oh. right that's like an exhausting potential yeah. trip and if you're not prepared for the amount of walking yeah by the second day you're gonna wake up and be like oh my god what did i got myself into so yeah, yeah exactly. with our that was the kids yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> because despite our repeated suggestion that yes. they prepare for this yeah, trip they right? did not you know no, these kids would, know everything <laughs> i would just show them the receipt of how much it cost and i said <laughs> i have no sympathy for you <laughs> put on your damn shoes let's go and we're gonna have the time of our life right. <laughs> like a fucking family <laughs> Joyous. That sounds so happy. Yeah. 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 Uh, it actually was a lot of fun. It, but oh, I'm sure. yeah, we went in 2019 as well. We actually came back just before the pandemic, like two oh, months nice. beforehand. Right and that we needle. took our Airstream uh, camper and drove it down there and did the whole thing at the campground, went to oh, all nice. the parks, drove it back. And then two weeks later, we're shut down. So, wow. Um, we great. stayed at Fort Wilderness, but the lodge. Yeah. yeah. The, I would. Yeah. Yeah, we, we stayed in the campground of that. And it was great. I, I loved it. I couldn't drive a camper. No, I don't. Yeah. I don't. My husband does. And uh, we just upgraded to a bigger one. And we're all <laughs> happy to hopefully get on this uh, on the road again for Disney in, uh next year. We're gonna oh, go good. Again. Good. Yeah, it's uh, yeah. that's a lot to look forward to. I can't wait till the world can get back to normal and we can do yeah. all the things yes. again. <laughs> And, and I, I'll even accept normal, like air quotes, normal at this point. I'm just like, we're, you know, this is this is a whole lot going on here. Yeah. yeah I mean, when we went to Disney in June, I thought we were back to normal, you know, like and we then, were almost there. Right. That, right. Yeah. I, thought, I thought for sure the end was in sight. And then, you know, Delta. Yep. So just and kidding. Then, but totally just kidding. Yeah. <laughs> and actually, funny enough, today is the start of that cycle for the cause challenge that I was telling oh, you about. Is it? But they didn't do a, an in person ride because they need to plan this about a year and a half, uh, like uh-huh. ahead. And so they just could not know if Commit. whether or not, yeah, yeah, for sure, for hotels, for like the 500 of us who go do this. And so what they did is they changed it to a virtual event. So starting today, we all pick a variation of 275 that number to do what we want to do like something challenging so i've committed to riding the bike for uh two no wait 10 miles a day which will amount to about 25 uh 20 no 275 miles at the end of the month because it's a month long oh so you'll do it every day for a month wow that's cool i'll do about 20 to 30 minutes on the bike every day i don't normally do that but i will do that for the purpose of the challenge just to kind of give myself an additional challenge, you know, um, past what I would normally do. And then I'll just pepper uh, tonal in probably like every other day or something like that. Awesome. And so so you'll do all that on your Peloton or do you have an outdoor bike? that you have an outdoor bike, too. So weather permitting, it's been really weird weather. Um, I live in New Jersey and it's been really hot, but then it's also been really rainy. So weather permitting, I'm hopeful that I can, uh, we, we have a really cool trail to ride. And if I do that trail, that's about 12 miles. So that's, you know, perfect. Kind of perfect. Yeah. For, for what my challenge will be. That's great. So which did you get first, the Peloton or the Tonal? The Peloton we got uh, in, the Peloton we got just when we came back in 2018 for the first cycle for the cause, because we realized we need a, we need to train like yeah right. you can't just show we, up yes. yeah, we did <laughs> good this thinking wrong we absolutely did this wrong so we need to train and because it was winter we were like what do we do to train inside then we were looking at like those things you buy with the 
I think it allows you to put your road bike. Trainer. Yeah. 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 And it was like, fine, but we just wanted something more than that. And again, once we saw something connected, technological, this a beautiful screen, we were like, that's what we need. And so we started with the Peloton um, and totally committed. We were in it. We were doing our thing. And then simultaneously to the strength training at the gym, that's when we were like, we really don't know what we're doing. Like with the Peloton, we know what we're doing with strength training. We don't. It would you know, be cool if there was something like that for strength training. And then that's where Tonal yeah. appeared. I feel like there's so many people that don't get that that's what Tonal brings to the table. Yep. It's not just the ability to lift weights in your home. Right. It's 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 that you have a personal trainer telling you yeah. how to lift weights, what to do, when to do it, how many reps to do. Yep. Um, and and I feel like there are a lot of people that already know all that, like, but, but for people like us, <laughs> like all of us on this, this call, it's really nice to have somebody spelling all those things out for you. It lowers the intimidation factor so much. Absolutely. You just have to show up. I mean, I know that sounds sort of silly, but you just have to show up and then, yeah, you're going to do some work. You're going to swag. You're probably going to curse a, a trainer off. That's totally fine. But like, <laughs> You don't have to do any of the thinking. I remember when I was going to the gym, I started off with a spreadsheet, like an Excel, Google yeah. Doc, whatever spreadsheet of all of the things I wanted to do and what weight I was doing them at. And then every so often when I would bump up to the, the five pound difference to go up, it would be brutal. Like I would hate it because if five pounds is quite a bit, it's a, lot. Right. Yeah, yeah. a lot. And then I would go on the next column and do that. And the next column, and it was, it was like fine and totally manageable, but a pain more than anything. Yes. Pain. It's like homework. Yeah. yeah and, and then you're going to you get know. your piece of paper all messy and it's going it's to get folded and it's going to get sweaty. And totally. And then I moved to doing it on my iPhone and then I'm sitting there zooming into the cells of the iPhone to try to see what I'm doing and where I'm going. Click, click. Yeah. And I'm like, <laughs> this works, but it's not ideal. And so then when I, all of the features of the tonal that were like uh, auto weight adjustments, one pound increments, like all of those things were exactly what I was, didn't even know I was looking for. Like yes, I needed yeah. it, but I didn't know that that's even a thing that exists. So when I saw that and I tried it and it's funny because the beginnings of tonal, it was very bare bones and I still loved it. Like from that moment, I still loved it. And by bare bones, I mean like, uh, you know, some of the production values or the repeated, uh, uh, programs that they had, like one of the initial things was people, uh, upset that like the first week is the same as the second week. Yeah. The, same as the third week. But like from my brain, I understood that because yeah. that's what I did at the gym. Like that's right. the only way, whoops, that's the only way to really grow muscles and gain muscles. Exactly. Um, and, you know, even still now to this day, they do have that method, but it's more interesting that they pepper in some of the dialogue that's different per week. Right. So all of those things have adapted and changed based off the feedback of the community, which I mean, is remarkable. Right. Um, and I'm here for it. Like I was here for it from 2018. Well, we got it like January, 2019. So from then till now I'm, I'm here for it and I'm, I'm loving all the changes. That's fantastic. Yeah. So you're, when you guys signed up for the gym and had your abbreviated attempt with weightlifting that was that your first time doing weights or had you done stuff like that previously uh i would probably say it's the first time and i'm saying probably because like you know when you're in high school and like you're sure just, yes. like you know okay. your gym teacher made you lift a weight that's yeah and then it's like you go to your friend's house who has weights and you're like oh look i'm lifting weights and it's right <laughs> what are you doing you know you do it once and you're like oh i'm jacked am i jacked yet right so like <laughs> that was the first time i think we went in with an intention which was let us you know, gain some strength, uh, learn what we're doing. And we did for some of it, but I can't tell you the level of knowledge that I now have comparatively to when I was trying to just do it alone at the gym, even all of the, the different moves. I understand. I understand what they're supposed to be doing. Yeah. I know what I should be working on while that move is happening. So when it comes up in another program, let's say, or even if I go to the gym, I know what I'm doing now. I mean, it's, not to pat myself on the back, but you know. Well, right. yeah, because you have somebody explaining to you the yeah. form and the rationale behind the form. Right. And that's where that personal training piece comes in too. Yeah. And so whenever you do go to the gym, like if you're traveling or something like that and you have to go to the hotel gym and you use the the weights, it's like, okay, well, now I know why I'm doing that. And now I know the correct form and I'm not just throwing this weight around. I've got some purpose behind exactly. it. Exactly. <laughs> even if you did that, even if I went to a hotel gym, 
I would likely know what I was doing if I can, if I worked or if I put a workout together on my own, I could probably just pull together what I remember, you know, Pablo did for this <laughs> lesson or this uh, program and piecemeal together a program on my own. You know, that was, the, was the first uh, person I took a, 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 a program like the four week program with when I, we got it. And it was by just randomness. I'm like, you know, I don't know who anyone is. I'm just going to pick this one because it looked good. And uh, it was just like an immediate, like, okay, this is our person. This is who we're going to be with. He's great. He's awesome. And uh, from that point on, I mean, he's been so helpful in the community. Um, Just uh, there was a point where he was doing hourly Zoom calls uh, over Saturdays, I would say. Yeah, yeah, I did one of those. Yeah, Yeah, I did one of those. or I did many of those. And I was just like this. This person knows what they're doing. They're here to have fun, but they're also here to like make us sweat. And uh, that has, uh, of course, been my favorite trainer since. Uh, But I mean, the breadth of knowledge across all of the trainers and all the different types of uh, styles that they have is really fascinating. It is. It absolutely is. And, uh, you know, Coach Pablo, I well, all of the instructors really, uh, they're so responsive when you yeah. ask them a question. And we're so lucky to have that, um, especially because you were mentioning Peloton, especially yeah. compared to Peloton. They've they've gotten so huge at this point that it's it's, it's sometimes not, difficult to even not, hear back from it. Yeah, it's not realistic to expect that it's not. degree of engagement anymore. No. Yeah. And, and look, let's say tonal takes off and becomes uh this you know massive thing that everyone has in their home i anticipate that it's going to at some point have to get like that there's no way that the the agreed yeah coaches could realistically sustain that but i still think right now it's a big enough situation that they're in where like the fact that they do respond and the fact that they are almost like personal with their responses and they know you is phenomenal i mean it really is motivating when that happens when you have a question you ask it they answer and they're like, good job. Keep it up. You've come a long way. You're like, what? You know? 100%. It's amazing. It is. You don't get that anywhere else. So do you, are you a program guy? Is that what you tend to do now? Or do you do? Yeah. Off, or? Yeah. It, you know what I try to do? I try to do a program. Um, I, uh, I typically will not finish the program in four weeks. And it's just a variety of things like work gets in the way or sure. whatever. I miss a program. So I kind of allot five weeks for the program for myself. And then I'll take a week to do what other things I've wanted to try other uh, coaches, other program, uh, other workout types, just to kind of experiment because they always are dropping in new stuff. And then I'll pick another program for that next block of five weeks and so on and so forth. So, so do you ever feel I to do. Do you ever feel guilty when you do that? Like, do you guilty. ever feel like, like, well, I always feel guilty when I change anything It's not just tonal, like anything. Like if somebody's like you, you know, we prescribe this 30 day thing, then yeah. I'm like, I, I, as soon as I go off of that cadence at all, I'm like, <laughs> oh, I've messed it up. I've yeah. screwed it up. I don't. I and so I, do you do that? Yes, Cause I yes, feel I, terrible. I, do. I know what you mean now. I totally do feel that way. Or I used to feel that way a lot more. I should say not at this point. I got to say that pandemic time um, health has been more challenging than other times. And for the obvious reasons of, for the most part, we're all working from home or we're working from home. We're going to sleep later. We're waking up later. We are eating maybe unhealthier. So like, I'm not at the state health wise or physically that I was maybe like a year ago or a year and a half ago before pandemic time. But I think that what I've learned about myself is as long as I show up, I'm better off than if I didn't show up. So yes. if I did a 20 minute thing or a 10 minute thing or whatever, like yesterday I was really sort of down and I did a 10 minute uh, yoga and I was like, so happy with myself afterwards because I just showed up, you know? Yes. And so that's, I think I've in this time of my life lessened that guilt aspect because in the prior portion, let's say pre pandemic, I was like you where, you know, I missed one day or I didn't show up at the time that, that I should have that was prescribed. And I'm like, oh my God, I failed. I'm the worst, you know? So I gotta, I think I need to just learn to be kinder to myself amidst this whole journey. And yeah. and just to be clear, I agree with you 100%. Yeah, like, I yeah, wasn't yeah. saying you should feel guilty. Oh, I was just no, wondering no, no. if you were like me. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And I, and yes, I. the answer is I, I am like you, for sure. It, it sounds like your end run around it for yourself is like, you preemptively give yourself permission to like, well, four weeks for me is five. Yeah. And then, and yeah. then that gives you some wiggle room. 
yeah. and that like as long as you do it within the five, you probably if it if all of a sudden it became six, then you would probably go back to beating yourself up. Yes, but, yes. I, you yeah. know, and I I play the same games. Like it's not I'm not That's casting not. versions. So, you know, you know yeah. the um the monthly challenges that are taking place in the in the community. So the very first one of those I think was in January of this uh, past year with Nicolette mm-hmm. and me and my husband both were on every single program that we needed to do for the whole month. Right. We did partner workouts for a lot of them, which actually helped a little bit in that, like you get a little bit of rest period in between. So yeah. and that was a challenging program. I think it was raising the barbell too. I believe it was. Yeah. And so once that ended, I was, I felt like exhausted, like truly I felt tired. I felt like overdone and I needed a little bit of a break. And so from that point till now, I haven't been able to properly follow those monthly programs because I feel like, you know, Tom, you said I'm giving myself permission. That was the only time I didn't give myself permission. Yeah. And then, and I felt the results of that in a negative way. And then going forward, I just felt like I could never fully commit to those four weeks of like nonstop every day, go, go, go. And so that's kind of where I'm at. I started some of the other programs. I tried to get along with uh, the things that were prescribed and I just, it never fit what I was trying to achieve. And that's why I kind of, again, gave myself permission to say, you know what? It's fine if I don't do those, I'll just do what I do. And and I'm good with that because there's uh, so much goodness in the programs on their own without the monthly challenges. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. I mean, at some point though, I mean, to some degree, those, those sorts of time constraints are are arbitrary to, well, some, degree, to and, some degree and you're you're still you still have peloton and so if if you're trying to juggle that in at all any kind okay. of workout anything off tonal period okay. it's it's difficult to go by that 30-day calendar and juggle those other things yeah. um because i'm trying to do a lot of cardio based on we're doing met pro from a nutrition standpoint and and because of my body type it's like oh lots and lots of cardio to to lose that fat well I can't spend as much time doing the weights then because I only have so much time to work out. I mean, in a perfect world, I'd have an hour and a half every day to be able to work out and have the energy, but I don't. (laughs) So yeah, right. Yeah. In a perfect world, for sure. I would do an hour of tonal and then go run for 30 minutes or whatever. But like, that's completely unrealistic in our lifestyle and what we're, what we're capable of doing. And even just like generally our, you know, like I'm, I'm going to be tired. I'm not going to want to do that all. And then the next day show up and do that all again. Yes. So that's why I need to, I've learned, I need to give myself a little bit of leeway, but I also think that this 275 challenge that we are now in is going to reset or at least re-motivate me to definitely jump in more and be more committed to the whole health spectrum. And like, maybe not go to bed so late, maybe not have that extra glass of wine, you know, maybe <laughs> not, uh, I don't know, order Burger King at midnight on the weekend. It's just like, <laughs> these are the things that have come through the pandemic that are were atypical of what life was like pre pandemic. I totally get it. And- I, I feel like as the pan, you know, as, as we kind of come out of at least the sequestering ourselves portion of the pandemic, it's like nobody came out looking the same. Like right. everybody either came out like they gained 20 pounds or lost 20 pounds. Like yeah. They either used the time to like really dial it in or they were just like, F it. Yeah. Because you know? so many people had different stress mechanisms, totally. you know, and 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 I, I'm like you. It's like well, there was so much that we started going to uh, that was like, well, we'll have this delivered because that was safer. And okay. um, and then it's like, well, when you start having food delivered, that's dangerous. Yeah. It's so dangerous. To you know my husband today deleted all of those programs from all of the apps like Uber Eats and uh, <laughs> what's the other one? DoorDash, I think. DoorDash, DoorDash Grubhub. Yeah. Grubhub. Not that we did deleted. a lot. Because he was like, you know what? When I get that alert and it's like 11 o'clock at night, I will cave and I will order that burger. I will do that thing. So when it used to be like if you were going to have food delivered. Right. You mean you had two choices, Chinese or pizza. Like, yeah, that was it. Well, right? now you I get Jimmy John's, but anything. But anything. now it's anything. <laughs> right. It's like, so dangerous. It's, yeah. <laughs> we try to allot ourselves one one really bad meal a month. And yeah. this was before pandemic time where we had this sort of thing. And we're both vegetarians. And so the uh, the impossible meat whopper that came out of Burger King, we allotted ourselves one of those per month. 
right? Because we're like, you know what? We really should just let ourselves indulge for a moment. And this month, I think we ordered it like three times. Because I said <laughs> last night, I'm like, Chris, did we order the burger? Oh, did we use our allotment this week? He's like, twice over. I'm like, oh my God. So yeah, we need to reset ourselves. And I yeah, you start playing. Challenged. But like February is only 28 days. <laughs> And yeah. <laughs> oh, we did that one time they messed up the order. So we were like, that one doesn't count. I mean, yeah. we did you know, now that I think about it, like they didn't have this when I was growing up. So yeah. I get all those months <laughs> retroactively. Right. Like that's got to catch up. They're like, that's bang. What I think we need to try to stop from ourselves from doing because it's easy, especially when both parties involved can tip each other in a direction. Tom you know, and I are so like that. Exactly. <laughs> like I, once you're on that precipice of like, Will I do it or not? Once you even admit that you're on the precipice, the other party's like, yeah, let's I'm just in. do it. I'm yeah. In. And that's it. Yeah. We'll sit there and be like, I'm not weighing in on this yeah. decision one way or another. You, you know, decide. You, you know what? If you promise to still find me attractive five pounds from now, I promise to still find me attractive <laughs> five pounds from now. Let's just Deal. get the ice cream. <laughs> let's go. <to> <laughs> yeah. So today, actually, I want to say is our first uh, day in the 275 challenge. So starting tomorrow, we both committed. We're going to weigh ourselves tomorrow morning. We're going to just see where we go, d- suck it up and do it, and then just get ourselves back on track. So at least it's a new month. At least there's like a reason to do it all. And I feel motivated enough to to help me along that journey. And knowing that I don't have to go like back to the gym or yeah. any of that, because I've been doing it. I've, you know, we've both been doing tonal and Peloton, just not as maybe regularly or uh, with intent as before. So it'll you be know, a lot easier to yeah. get back to where you want to be. You know what I did one time to maintain focus? I actually started a diet, started a diet day one on Thanksgiving. Wow. Yeah. And <laughs> and my thought process, and it worked. My thought process was any time after this that I'm like, I want a cave, I'll be like, bitch, you gave up Thanksgiving dinner. Like, are you but you're gonna blow it on a random Wednesday in, in February? No. That is fascinating. Yeah. Fascinating. And it worked. And I get it. Yeah. And I did like a whole you did the year hardest thing. So if you work. did the hardest thing, what's stopping you from doing anything yeah. less than that? So mm-hmm. Interesting. I don't know. I have bad days and then I can talk myself into anything on bad days. So same, same. <laughs> and, and totally same. even right now we have this whole conversation and I'm like thinking about dinner and I'm like, what are we going to order? I'm like, no, 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 order. <laughs> no, it's a new month. We're starting over. <laughs> <laughs> so what would you say that you love most about the tonal? Like what's your favorite feature? Uh, well, there's, let's say two things. The one thing is going to be that the, the, the feature, the actual physical feature on the device, I would say is the, um, AI weights, like the digital AI weights. I am so happy that that whole spreadsheet idea gone throughout the window and that it goes up in one weight, uh, one pound increments. And I like that at least now, I think it's maybe a bit a month or two where it shows you that, um, you know, on the next rep, you might get a personal record. There's that little like icon that it shows you. I think that that's all very motivating. And I think that it gives me an opportunity to maybe not do as well one day, but do well another day. And that's still all fine. It's still captured in the data. I I love that it's so data driven that it just continuously motivates you. I think the strength score also is there for a reason. And I think that it's a cool idea to kind of give you this number of like, this is where I started. This is where I'm at now. And for me, I think it was like a 300% increase or something from like that very first time that I did it to now. And that's motivating. That's super cool. And the fact that it goes sometimes down, sometimes up, it's normal. Like I, I've, I had a moment a couple of times where it really was like, why did you know I did so well? Why did it go down? But I get it. Like I understand the, the mechanics behind it all. So as long as that graph goes up in general, that's really all that matters. So that's kind of one thing. And then the other thing is uh, off tonal, the community aspect, which we, we discussed earlier, I think is very motivating when you find like-minded people, everyone's so kind, everyone is so nice. You uh, form camaraderies, you kind of keep yourselves accountable. You don't even know these people outside of like a Facebook message. And yet here you are all motivating each other. Um, and that includes the, the trainers as well, like the coaches, all of them are involved in that. And being able, like we've said, to just message Pablo and be like, Hey, listen, I'm suffering from the goblet squad. I don't know what I'm doing wrong. And it's like, Oh, you know, just, 
you know, tell me what you're doing. And there'll be a conversation. And that's very, very, very cool. It is. Yeah, no, yeah. I, you're right. The The community aspect cannot be, you know, over over talked about or right. hyped up too much because totally. it's it's so unique. And, and, yeah. and I love that Tonal is so intentional about continuing to build it, you know, having like those, the monthly challenges that you mentioned and, and having the opportunity for our tonal talks and having the opportunity for ask a coach anything. So, you know, I think that's one way that they kind of offset that, you know, the, the coaches can't reach out to every single person. So, Hey, let's have this forum that you can ask them anything once a month. And I think that's really cool too. Yeah. It's like very unusual. I would say for a company of, of, of this caliber to somehow still make it very personal in that regard. And I, and, you know, we're making the Peloton comparison again, and there may have been a point in the Peloton experience where this may have been what it was like, you know, but kind of like now I feel there's, it's very unlikely that you'll get through to anyone of the coaches. They're kind of at this point, all like celebrities. It's, celebrities. Like, yeah. it's all been very like Hollywood fied or, or something. I don't know if that really makes sense, but like it each, totally of the, makes sense. each of the programs, when you take them, they're phenomenal, but they're all very heavy, heavy production. Like they're, they're each a huge event, which I think is cool, but it definitely lessens the one-on-one nature uh, of that. So um, I'm, I'm happy where Tonal is. I love that they're still continuing that element of it. I think Kate, is like super shout out to Kate because she's doing a remarkable job. Absolutely. Continuing this, making everyone sort of uh, motivated, all the things that she puts together, the books, the tonal talks, the um, Q and A's uh, are likely all her. And I, and I, that, you know, huge shout out to Kate for, for doing that. I totally Absolutely. agree. So do you have any advice for people who are just now getting a tonal? Uh, yeah. So the, a lot of people, when I look at the forums and stuff seem to want to retake that initial assessment Mm -hmm. because they think something is off. Right. I would say just stick with it, do whatever that initial assessment is. You know, you might suffer. You might hate that first 10 minutes because it asks you to do that. Like really it's, what is it like light, medium, heavy, and that heavy one, you might not even be able to do one of let it be. Don't go back to check out how much better you will have been because that kind of resets your data and then you're back to square one. So let that be, follow the programs. I would recommend starting with the, like a basic beginner program, learn all the form cues, learn about the features of the, the, the actual device, the handles, the rope, the Bluetooth button, the bar, all of those things need to be beginners. Uh, like at the first month, this should be established. And then from that, explore and have fun with it. But don't think that you should ever go back and redo that initial assessment for really any reason, unless you like did it with like a, I don't know, like a sprained arm or something. And it really messed up your data, then maybe redo it. But there's really no reason to redo it. A lot of times people really focus on that for some reason. Yeah. And what about when you're, you take off for like six months though? Like if you haven't, if you haven't done any weightlifting in yeah. that long, I, I think that might be the only other exception. Yeah. Because then, you, then you can reset it because reset it to your current standard. Right. right? Yes. And yeah. You're yes. totally right. And I should be clearer on that, but if you're not taking off longer than like a month, really no reason. If you're going to like, if you need to rest for a while, um, makes sense. I, am really close to my 52 week achievement of, <gasps> of um, what's it called? The, uh, you uh, your, know, streak. Your, your streak. streak. Oh my God. Yeah. I think of the word. <laughs> my 52 week streak is coming up. And the reason why this is important to me is because I was at 51 weeks before we got to Disney. We stayed at Disney for 10 days. They did <sighs> not have the on the go stuff. So I could not continue my streak physically could not no matter what. And it reset. Then I started it on the week back and we were at a point where I was like maybe 35 weeks. I was, you know, doing well. And then I had to get a surgery that kept me out of being able to work out for like a week. I forgot to do the on the go and I lost it again. So now I'm at a point where I'm committed. I'm going to get that 52 week and I'm going to feel super proud of myself. So. Awesome. Congrats. Yeah. That is awesome. I lost my streak at Disney too. Yeah. But I was, but I, I don't get, that doesn't bother me. I'm just like, it drives her crazy. It drives me crazy because he also doesn't care about the PRs. Like I yeah. sit there and every time he gets a PR, I'm like, PR. And I'm just like, oh, yeah. He's got nothing. He's got oh, nothing. I, the PRs motivate me. I'm not going to lie. Me when I too. see that, it's that. 
that like little bit of just a little bit more force, I do it and I get it. And it's just a ding. And I'm like, I did better than I've ever done. Yes. <laughs> cool. Yes. You know? And that's great. Like I'm not disparaging. I'm to me, I'm, I'm very like linear in my thinking. It's and just I'm the just way like, his brain works. And I'm like, well, if they increase you a pound when you're ready, of course you set a PR. Yes, of course. But you're <laughs> celebrating the yeah. win. Okay. Yes. <laughs> that's it. I'm the same way though, Tom, to some degree with the, uh, the length of time I'm on a streak, but I just feel like, 52 weeks, like a year is a commitment. Totally. Yes. And I yeah. feel like it represents the, you know, my growth and all of that. But once I get it, I'm not going to lie. Okay? I'm not probably not going to be like that stressed about it in the future. Um, I think the, the million pound marks are interesting though, because then you're thinking about it. You're like, holy cow. I just, you know, in two years lifted 2 million pounds. Like, Agreed. Oh, yes. That's kind yes. of a cool thing. So I agree. I a hundred percent agree. Uh, but for the yeah, I don't, uh, ones, I've not, I've actually not been as diligent about getting all of the achievements as I have in, in the past. <laughs> yeah. I kind of stopped trying so hard on those yeah, yeah. <laughs> because now I do so many different things that it's like, like there's people that have like 4,000 rides and I'm still under a thousand, but like I have rides and I have runs and I have boot camps and yeah. I also have tonal. So, <laughs> yeah. and so it's, it's a fake, it, not that it's a fake number, but if you tell someone that you have, let's say 200 rides and they have a thousand rides, they may say that they may look at you and think like, well, you really should do more rides, but that they're not thinking about the fact that you might have a hundred boot camps and a hundred runs and all of that. I'm the same way. You know, Chris yeah. loves doing the Saturday 60 with Jess Sims every single Saturday. And therefore he has a whole lot more boot camps than he does, uh, you know, rides or whatever or runs, let's say. So doesn't mean he didn't do it. That's exactly Absolutely. right. Absolutely. Exactly I get right. that. <laughs> I get frustrated with the string score. I don't pay a whole lot of attention to it. But like you said, when you go down, I'm like, I'm like, oh, that's bullshit. I did the thing. I'm taking your program and I did what you told me to do. And now you no. <laughs> you know, at first, the very first time that happened to me, I felt defeated. I'm like, oh, I had PRs. I did it. I'm drenched. How could it possibly go down? And then there was all this talk in the community about like, that whole six month period. And if you didn't do a move in six months, it kind of isn't taking as much account into it and it's resetting that score and blah, blah, blah. And I kind of get it, but yeah, I agree. It's so demotivating. The moment you see it go down you're like, no, <laughs> no. Even like one point, you know? So, but in the inverse though, when it does go up a lot, you're like, yeah, I'm the master. I'm, I'm a professional. Uh, I'm glad they finally holder. fixed this. <laughs> about time yeah. <laughs> awesome well thank you so much uh for taking time out of your day to join us before uh we let you go uh, remind everybody where they can find you on social media if you would like to be found sure yeah so we have a couple of things we have we didn't even talk about this at all but we have seven cats and um Ooh, we what? have a huge following on instagram at muskrat nation um mm. so take a look at that if you like cats they're absolutely adorable and we're obsessed with them and they're kind of outside of exercise they're pretty much like our lives so um, if you have cats why is the instagram called muskrat because uh that's a great question because we when we first got the Captain first Antonio cat, fans no we <laughs> He was a little adorable little kitten named Drazen. And Chris just one day was like, oh, look at him. He's such a little muskrat out of love, like out of cuteness. Yeah. And we posted once about, look at this little muskrat. And then everyone started referring to all of our cats as muskrats. And we were like, I think this is a thing. So we've now branded ourselves as Muskrat Nation because someone said they love to be a part of Muskrat Nation. And that was, that was just enough for us to be like, this is it. This is what we're doing. So we well, have, and, and it is a thing because you have 71,000 followers on Instagram. So. Yeah, it's been a couple of years of a journey. And I got to tell you, it has absolutely been phenomenal. The people on there are all wonderful. It feels like one big giant family. Um, and we have learned a lot about a lot about social media and about just uh, we, you know, the 275 challenge I mentioned, we do most of our fundraising through that platform of Muskrat Nation. And then all the money that we get, we donate to the uh, LGBT center. So thus far, I think we've raised somewhere around like $20,000, which is- Wow. Awesome. 
That's across amazing. The, across the many, many years. Yeah. Um, and then in the other place you can find this, uh, we also stream on Twitch as Airstreamers. We own an Airstream, like I mentioned, and we every so often, like once a month, stream from Twitch inside of our Airstream at campgrounds. But then other than that, we are also streaming three times a week at home, uh, Tuesdays, Fridays, and Saturdays at 8 p.m. And the tag for that on Twitch is Airstreamers. Or on Instagram, it's the real Airstreamers. You can find this there as well. But if you go to Monster Car Nation, all of this is is there as well in the links. That's awesome. awesome. So. Well, I know you'll have more followers because I will tell my stepson about the cat and he, he loves will, cats. And I will I just followed you as well. So yeah. <laughs> yeah. look, I mean, we are obsessed with them and they are like our children. We love them. they they live a life of luxury. And you know, if we could, we would adopt all the cats in the world, but like I think seven is kind of a lot. So that's yeah, lot. that is a lot. That yeah. is a lot. Yeah. There's... What do you do with them when you go on trips in your airstream? Yeah. So what we do is we uh uh, hire uh, like a pet sitter and oh. we know this person. So we're super comfortable letting them, you know, stay over if it's, we recently went to Maine, for example, and they stayed over for the 10 days that we were gone. So we knew very, like they were being taken care of. Gotcha. I would feel so stressed if like, we just left and like assumed someone was going to come every right. so right. often because they don't have dry food. They only eat their wet food. Dry Aww. food is sort of bad for um, the cat's health. So we give them three feedings a day of wet food. And it's all like, we do it. We have a whole system. So anyone who stays over in that scenario needs to like sort of learn the system. They each have their own bowls that they eat at. They're so funny. Oh and God. they're respectful of the bowls. Yeah. Like yeah. They, just, they when, won't go into the other. Yeah. You can, if you look kind through the dicks. Instagram, you'll <laughs> see some videos of them eating and whatever position they're in. The moment we go downstairs, they all go right to their bowl and wait right there. <laughs> oh my God. That's, that's yeah. amazing. That's funny. That's so funny. Yeah. yeah. Well, I'm going to have to look at, I'm going to have to watch that. Cause I love, I love cats. I don't like yeah. to live with cats though, because they can destroy things. <laughs> yeah. You know what? A lot of times when people come over though, they say that they can't believe that we have seven cats because for the most part, we're very clean people. And so what we'll do is just pick up after them or if they mess up something it's like whatever and we kind of train them try to try to not to mess up uh too much but the only thing occasionally we'll have is like a little dust bunny or oh, okay maybe, sure that's, like a little, little you know tumbleweed yeah. <laughs> uh and that's it other than that i mean they're really really uh suffi- self-sufficient they you know do their thing they we have a downstairs that's kind of their like apartment i mean it's r- really ridiculous well i was thinking that to have seven cats they're very respectful because they haven't come into that room and yeah. interrupted you once yeah you know what actually that was by design because i normally when we stream on twitch this is the space that we stream in and we have these two beds right back here yeah the cat tower and so we normally they're here right but they're sometimes a little bothersome so i didn't know how bothersome isn't like they're gonna love me and they're gonna put their face in the mic and that's a part of the stick of our of our streaming but yes. i just didn't know what they would be like in this setting and i didn't want it to like interrupt us at all so well, uh, that's well thank why you yeah we yeah. once had a cat on our other podcast uh punch the, the camera he, he, like swatted the camera and knocked, <laughs> and knocked it. It, yeah. it was hilarious it was though <laughs> That's yeah, that's the people literally tune in to see. We call it the muskrat cam. We have a bunch of cameras throughout the room here where people can see (laughs) where the cats are and what they're doing, like while we're talking, while we're playing a game or whatever. And it's really endless joy. I mean, we are we are so lucky to have the community that we have that we built uh, through muskrat nation, through air streamers. And we look forward to uh, all the streams that we do because it's just so much fun. So that's awesome. (laughs) <laughs> Definitely. Absolutely. Well, yeah. thank you so much for for joining us. We really appreciate it. Yeah, thank you for having me. This has been a blast. It yes. has. So I guess that brings this episode to a close. What, pray tell, do you have in store for people next time? Next time we are going to talk to Coach Nicolette, and she is mm-hmm. going to be back on the show. And this time she is discussing cardio 
versus strength and all of the cardio options on tonal how to get your cardio on awesome so until then where can people find you people can find me on facebook at facebook.com slash crystal d o'keefe and you can find me on instagram and twitter and the tonal leaderboard at clip out crystal and you can find me on twitter at roger kubert or on facebook at facebook.com slash tom o'keefe you can find the show online at facebook.com slash superset podcast while you're there like the page join the group and wherever you're getting your podcast from be sure and follow us so you never miss an episode and maybe throw a review our way so people know that we're worth checking out so that's it for this one thanks for tuning in and until next time keep lifting The Superset is made possible in part by support from Tonal.